All right, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm reviewing Skims. I actually was not planning on reviewing it, but I just like bought all the stuff because it looked really comfy and I'm all about being comfy. It's the waffle collection. Obviously you can tell by the title. However, I felt like, you know, I just wanted to review because I posted on my story that I got it and I got a few responses and the fit just wasn't what I was expecting. So I figured why not just do a casual YouTube review and just don't mind my face. I don't know if it's picking up on camera because the camera kind of soothes out my skin, but I got a facial the other day, a peel, and my skin is shedding literally all over here, but it's fine. <laughs> Anyways, so I act, clearly I got like this whole set in the waffle collection, and I actually had such high hopes for it that I got it in all black as well, and I also got the zip up in like the oak gray color, I think that's how you say it, which is like that tannish color. So I'm just going to hop right into the review. I got a size small on everything because that's usually what I am, a size small. Uh, first, let me just say the fabric is so soft, so like unreal. Like I definitely don't have any fabric like this. And like, yes, it's a waffle material, but the outside of it is like very like fuzzy and just cozy. So I really like that detailing on the material. It's different than just like your typical waffle. Just to start off with the bra, so as you can see, the bra like looks super tiny, like pulling it out, I was like, is this gonna fit? Surprisingly, like, you get it on. However, there's like not a lot of stretch around the rib cage, like the stitching, the stitching right at the top of the waistband right here is not very stretchy. So like the stitching just kind of like stops at a certain point, like the bottom of it is very stretchy. However, there is a seam right here that stops it from being like actually stretchy. So when you're putting it on, you're almost like, oh my God, is this gonna like just break apart as I'm pulling it on? Obviously I'm able to get it on, but that's just something, something to keep in mind. If like if you have a bigger rib cage, I would probably size up. Let me take my jacket off here. And then for the bra itself, there's no padding or anything. So obviously it's supposed to be like a very comfy, loungy type of bra. Um, like otherwise, once it's on, it's actually very comfortable. Like there's no support or anything. And I actually think it fits like pretty well. Like I have a decent amount of coverage here. It doesn't come too low. Um, and this is what it looks like from the back. Overall, once it's on, it's actually very comfortable. However, it's just the initial getting it on is pretty tight. And then it fits me around my rib cage. But like I said, I would just be weary of that. Okay, now moving on to the zip up. So this was, I think, the most expensive item at like $78. So it was like $10 more on the joggers. So this one really surprised me because it just said it was a like waffle hoodie or whatever. And it didn't give any indication really that it was like super cropped. I read the description again just to make sure. And the description did just mention it was slightly cropped. However, this is definitely not slightly. Keep in mind, this is a small and like it comes, like if I pull the joggers down, here's my belly button, it comes all the way up here. And I'm actually gonna try on the hoodies with my black leggings, just so you can see where it hits with black high-waisted aligned leggings. But that was really unexpected. I thought it was gonna be like a hoodie that comes like to your, it said it comes to your like natural waist, but it comes like, like I said, really high up. So that was just really surprising. Like, don't get me wrong, I love, cropped everything however this was just unexpected especially with the joggers which i'm about to show you are so high-waisted so for someone like me i have super long legs so it just is like i feel like i look so awkward like i'm walking on stilts right now because this is like so high and this is like so short so that's the thing like I, this is so comfy and obviously this color is gorgeous it's the mineral color so i probably will keep a hoodie or two because i like i said i like crop things and i would totally wear this with other stuff however but the joggers look so awkward and that's what's sad is I feel like the fit is just really awkward like, fabric is amazing however the fit just if this is like a little bit lower and the joggers were lower like it would look so cute and that's the thing I wanted to get this as like a nice like the pandemic you're just in all time <laughs> in your house all the time so to just be lounging like a cute set like why not you know but yeah, I mean, there are these pockets, but like I said, this is very cropped. So the pockets literally, like this is, these are my boobs right now. And this is like where the pockets are. So it's not like I'm going to be putting anything in there. And then the zipper is actually like a pretty nice zipper. I don't have any issues with that. 
And then there is a hood, which is very tiny and does not cover my head at all, which is fine. Like I said, it's just a cropped hoodie, which is fine. It's just I was not expecting it. Okay, so like I said, <laughs> these are very high waisted. Keep in mind, I'm 5'8". I have the same leg length as Matt, even though he's taller than me. I have very long legs. But yet this still can come all the way up to my chest, which is crazy. Um, and then this is like how long they are in me here if I do that. But then if I put it to my natural waist, then it is all the way down to my ankles. That's the biggest thing, honestly, like that I really just don't like. That and also I actually, I don't know what you guys, I don't really like when there's the drawstring inside. I actually prefer for the drawstring to be outside because then obviously like the drawstring inside just causes like a bulk right here. So that in itself is just like, I don't know, like I just don't understand the point of putting the drawstring inside, you know, like it just, it's not going to be hidden because it's going to be bulky right here. <laughs> um, so that's one thing. And then like obviously this has a lot of stretch because of the drawstring, it's like adjustable. And then obviously there's no pockets. So I think that also adds to it, making it look a little awkward. Um, this is what it looks like from the back. So again, I can bring it like all the way up here. This is where I would, I guess, wear it. Don't get me wrong, comfortableness is just like, I just feel kind of like awkward in it. I don't know. And then I wanna show you more from far away what it looks like. Okay, now here is the same set in black. It's actually my first time trying on black. I think I actually definitely like the green better. However, like I said, obviously the same awkward kind of fit here. And yeah, I just wanted to show you the black even though know. it's the same exact thing. All right, now I'm gonna try on the hoodies which is like plain black aligned leggings. So you can just see if you wanna just get a cropped hoodie. <laughs> okay, so I just went on with aligns and I actually forgot to say I have um, this cropped thermal Aritzia TNA hoodie that I wear a lot. So I'm actually going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the Skims waffle hoodie to the Aritzia one just because obviously it's pretty similar but I do think like obviously the fabric is very different because like I said the Skims one has like that brushed outside and the Aritzia one is like a true waffle. So they're both very comfortable but so I guess I'll just do a side by side here of me trying on the Aritzia, or this is the Skims one. Okay, here's the Aritzia one, which I actually think is more flattering because the sleeves kind of bellow out on the Skims one. The Aritzia one is more form fitting on the sleeves, but that's like the biggest difference there. It comes to about the same length, I think. This one has a silver um, zipper. Yeah, the pockets come to like the same place here as well. This is what it looks like from the back. So now here's that brown color, which I actually do really like. But as you can see, the sleeves are actually pretty awkward. Now that I tried the Nerdsia one, I can definitely notice how much it like bellows out at the sleeves, which is kind of awkward. Um, but again, cropped leg. So again, this is the Aligns. So it's pretty high waisted and that's where the crop zip sits. Um, so this is what it looks like here. And then unzips. All right, and then let me just try on the green. And then here is the green one. So I think I'm gonna keep at least one of the hoodies, whether it be the green or the brown one or both, because I do obviously wear crop stuff a lot and it is very comfortable. But um, as like a whole set, I definitely don't think you need the whole set. You don't even need the cropped hoodie. I just am a sucker. <laughs> yeah, other than that, that's it. Let me know if you tried the waffle collection, what you thought. I did have some girls reply saying the same exact thoughts that I have. Um, so obviously, if you're shorter than me at 5'8", then the joggers are going to like act too ridiculous on you. I don't know if they did that to like make it fit more people. However, that's why they have so many sizes, you know, then that should accommodate the difference but I don't know who needs that much length in that area so I don't know other than that that's gonna be it thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one